Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pasta dough at home. You don't need to buy pasta from a store, it usually has additives, preservatives and you don't know how long it's been on the shelf. So making it at home is just so easy, you don't have to do that anymore. And they're very simple ingredients. So we have some flour, some salt, um, about three eggs and I have some water which I will keep on standby. I'm not sure I'm going to need it. And I have some olive oil as well. So that's it. It's just like a four ingredient thing. So, you know, I'm going to make this dough first and later on I'm going to make pasta with it. Now, you, uh, I'm going to do everything by hand. I do have a pasta maker at home, but I want to show you how simple this is. So it's all going to be a hand process. So if you don't have equipment, don't worry about it. Very easy to do by hand. So let's just get right into it. So I have my work surface that I've cleaned off completely. So I just take my flour and put on my work surface. So that's about two cups of flour that I have there. It's all purpose flour. And to this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a well in the middle. You wanna make sure you have enough space in that well because we're gonna throw our eggs in here. We're gonna drop the eggs and the salt and the oil and all the ingredients. So there you go. I have a nice well and make sure the wells are broken because you don't want eggs and other um, oily liquids running around everywhere, right? So let's start with that. I think that should do it. So what I do now is I simply pour my eggs in there gently. Perfect. So that's about three eggs. And to that I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I think about half a teaspoon of salt should be good. That's fine. And we need to add two tablespoons of oil to this. So I'm going to Add approximately two tablespoons, one, two squeezes, that's two tablespoons. So with this, all we do is we start whisking. Okay, so after the initial mixing with a fork, we're going to use our hands. That's the best way to do it. And what we want to do is make sure we get a nice stiff dough. You don't want this to be overly soft and runny. And you'll see what I mean. So I'm just going to keep mixing it until we have a nice consistent an even mixture here or even dough okay I mixed my dough well but as you can see it's still a bit tough so we just spread it out like so and we're gonna add some water to it uh, I kept my water earlier as a backup and I you can add more oil actually that also works but I'm just gonna add a little bit of water because I don't want too much oil and when you are adding water make sure you add a little bit at a time you don't want to add all the water I may not even need this much so I'm gonna start with about one tablespoon and if required I'll add another tablespoon okay so I've been kneading this for 10 minutes and you can see how smooth I've got a nice smooth mixture uh, the gluten is also starting to release what I'm going to do is I'll make a nice little ball out of this and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to rest it can rest outside as well the refrigerator just makes it uh, a faster process because of cold fermentation okay so I have my nice ball ready, that's good to go, just put that in some cling wrap and make sure you seal it well, there should be no air pockets. So we want to close that side, give that a nice cover and then press down on the side so you move any additional air and that's it. So this is going to go in the refrigerator and um, it's ready to use. I'm going to be making some ravioli with this later, but you can use the same uh, dough for fettuccine, tagliatelle, linguine, spaghetti, on and on and on, right? So that's it guys, very simple, pasta dough, homemade, with, make it with the favorite, make it with the favorite shape of your choice or your kid's choice, enjoy, I'll see you next time.